वेलकम टू इंग्लिश गुरु यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज क्लिक द रेड सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड प्रेस द बेल आईकॉन टू रिसीव ऑल नोटिफिकेशन अबाउट माई न्यू वीडियो लेक्चर हेलो एंड गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द इंग्लिश गुरु यूट्यूब चैनल इन टूडेज वीडियो लेक्चर आई विल डिस्कस टॉप थर्टी फाइव मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रीक्वेंटली आस्ड क्वेश्चन इन द टी जी टी पी जी टी एंड यू जी सी नेट एग्जाम्स ओके नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर वन लाइफ बट अ वॉकिंग शेडो अ पुअर प्लेयर दैट स्टर्ट्स एंड फ्रेट्स हिज आवर अपॉन द स्टेज एंड देन इज हर्ड नो मोर इट इज अ टेल टोल्ड बाय एन इडियट फुल ऑफ साउंड एंड फ्यूरी सिग्निफाइंग नथिंग अकर इन विस प्ले बाय शेक्सपियर so here the answer will be macbeth let me explain this these lines are spoken by macbeth when lady macbeth kills herself he says life is nothing more than an illusion it's like a poor actor who struts and worries for his hour on the stage and then is never heard from again life is a story told by an idiot full of noise and emotional disturbance but devoid of meaning so basically here shakespeare compares life metaphorically to a walking shadow and mind to a poor player okay let's see question number 2 out of 154 sonnets how many sonnets did shakespeare dedicate to the dark lady so sonnets 1 to 26 were dedicated to his friend w h william herbert the earl of pembroke sonnet 127 to 152 were dedicated to dark lady and sonnets 153 to 154 are known as greek sonnets so here the right answer will be 127 to 152 sonnets were dedicated to the dark lady question number 3 there is a special providence in the fall of his sparrow the above line occurs in which play by shakespeare so here the answer is hamlet This has been spoken by Hamlet to Horatio in Act Fifth, Scene Second in the play Hamlet. Hamlet argues with Horatio that God controls everything, even something as trivial as a sparrow's death. Question number four: In which play by Shakespeare the following line occur? The rarer action. is in virtue than in vengeance here the answer will be the tempest these lines are spoken by prospero in act 5th scene 1st in the play the tempest now question number 5 the character 14 brass appears in which play by shakespeare here the answer will be hamlet Shakespeare had written four great tragedies namely Hamlet, Macbeth, Othello and King Lear. The character 14 brass appears in the play Hamlet. Question number 6 the characters Rosalind, Celia and Orlando appear in which play by Shakespeare? Here the answer will be as you like it. Question number 7 is cannot wither her nor custom still her infinite variety this line occurs in which play by shakespeare here the answer will be antony and cleopatra these lines are spoken by enobarbus e n o b a r b u s to maecenas m a e c e n a s these lines occur in act second scene second question number 8 frailty thy name is woman who utters this 
here the answer will be hamlet in act first scene second hamlet's mother gertrude married his uncle claudius after her husband's death so hamlet mourns the death of his father and changing nature of woman here the character of hamlet's mother gertrude is referred as morally weak as she had betrayed her husband by marrying his brother claudius just after a month of her husband's death to hamlet's mind woman represents frailty meaning women are breakable weak and delicate in nature okay now let's see question number 9 love looks not with the eyes but with the mind and therefore is winged cupid painted blind these lines occur in which play by shakespeare so here the answer will be a midsummer night's dream act first since first the meaning of these lines are love can make worthless things beautiful when we are in love we don't see with our eyes but with our minds that is why paintings of cupid the god of love always show as him as blind in this soliloquy helena ponders the transforming power of love the love sick helena was abandoned by her beloved demetrius because he loves the more attractive hermia okay question number 10 which character of the play as you like it is known as melancholy man here the answer will be jax the character jax is one of duke's senior attendants and is known as melancholy man question number 11 who said that shakespeare in his comedies has only heroines and no heroes here the answer will be john ruskin question number 12 which character in 12th night which was written during 1601 to 1602 by shakespeare is portrayed as being excessively arrogant and full of self pride so here the character of malvolio is portrayed as being excessively arrogant and full of self pride who is steward in olvia's household question number 13 neither a borrower nor a lender be for loan often losses both itself and friend the above lines occur in which play by shakespeare so here it means do not lend or borrow money from a friend because if you do so you will lose both your friend and your money these lines occur in the play hamlet in act first scene third these lines are spoken by polonius who gives advice to his son leotis before he embarks on his visit to paris question number 14 we are such stuff as dreams are made on and our little life is rounded with a sleep the above lines are taken from which play by shakespeare here the answer will be the tempest these lines occur in act 4 scene 1 In these lines Prospero says to Ferdinand that we ultimately derive meaning in our lives from our dreams and imagination. Okay. Question number 15 Who said about Shakespeare and though thou hadst small latin and less greek Here the answer will be Ben Jonson Ben Jonson said this in his poem to the memory of my beloved the author mr william shakespeare question number 16 the story of the 12th night was set in here the answer will be illyria an ancient region of the western balkans b a l k a n s balkans question number 17 miranda the daughter of prospero figures in which play by shakespeare 
here the answer will be the tempest in the play the tempest miranda is the only female character to appear on the stage during the course of the play she was banished to the island along with her father at the age of 3 and in the subsequent 12 years she lived with her father and their slave caliban as her only company question number 18 who said how poor are they that have not patience what wound did ever heal but by degrees so this lines are spoken by ayago in act second scene third in the play othello a tragedy by william shakespeare question number 19 cordelia came to her father because of her here the answer will be genuine love for him question number 20 comedy of humors a dramatic genre is closely associated with the english playwright here the answer will be ben johnson question number 21 the play the tempest is a tale of revenge romance and magic which character of the play has been described as a savage and deformed slave here the answer will be caliban who is the villain in the tempest question number 22 in the poem venus and adonis which is a narrative poem by shakespeare who is venus the answer will be the goddess of love question number 23 the language literary form used by shakespeare in his dramas for the most part is the answer will be blank verse in blank verse we find iambic pentameter which is five sets of unstressed stressed iams for a total of 10 syllables okay question number 24 shakespeare dedicated his youthful poems venus and adonis published in 1593 and lucrece published in 1594 Here the answer will be Henry Wriothesley, third Earl of Southampton. Question number twenty-five: In which play of Shakespeare do the following lines occur? There needs no ghost, my lord, come from the grave to tell us this. So here the answer is Hamlet. These lines are spoken by Horatio to Hamlet in Act First, Scene Fifth. Okay. Now let's see question number twenty-six. Which longest play by Shakespeare is called the tragedy of reflection and moral sensitivity? Here the answer is Hamlet. Hamlet is a revenge tragedy written in the line of Roman Cynican tragedy. It is the tragedy of reflection and moral sensitivity. Question number twenty-seven. Titus Andronicus written between 1588 to 1593 is a Shakespeare's first full length tragedy it owes much of its theme structure and language to here the answer will be Thomas Keats the Spanish tragedy question number 28 the main source for Shakespeare's Julius Caesar written around 1599 was here the answer will be thomas north's translation of plutarch's life let me explain it as his chief source in writing julius caesar shakespeare probably used thomas north's translation of plutarch's life of the noble greeks and romans question number 29 the sobriquet which means nickname swan of avon and bard of avon are associated with here the answer will be william shakespeare question number 30 shakespearean tragedy published in 1904 is written by here answer will be ac bradley question number 31 the sonnet was introduced to england 
along with other Italian verse forms in the 16th century by here the answer will be Sir Thomas Wyatt, Henry Howard and Earl of Surrey. Question number 32. The Comedy of Errors is an adaptation of a Latin comedy which is here the answer is Minaikami. Minaikami is a Roman comedy written by the ancient dramatist Plautus. P-L-A-U-T-U-S. Plautus. Question number 33. The books Oxford Lectures on Poetry published in 1909 and a miscellany published in 1929 are written by here the answer will be A.C. Bradley. Question number 34. The Two Noble Kinsmen is a Jacobian tragic comedy written and first performed in about 1612 to 1614 and first published in Quarto in 1634 and attributed to John Fletcher and William Shakespeare. The primary source for the story was, here the answer will be, The Knight's Tale in Geoffrey Chaucer's The Canterbury Tales. Question number 35. Who states these words for Shakespeare? Soul of the Ace, the Applause, Delight, the Wonder of her stays. Here the answer will be Ben Johnson. These are the lines from the poem, to the memory of my beloved, the author, Mr. William Shakespeare. Okay students, now I conclude my today's video lecture. Please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.